Hi Pisces, welcome to your bonus reading for March. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, we're going to take a look at for this March bonus, love, life, and advice. A little bit of everything for you. So please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. Uh, could be past, present, or future. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. You can be male or female watching, doesn't matter. My intention with this is if your monthly readings, maybe some of that didn't resonate for you, maybe something here will. So it's my intention with the bonus readings, but I may or may not be continuing these bonus readings. So please give me some feedback. Uh, leave me some comments how you like these, or I may turn them into elemental bonus readings, fire, air, earth, and water. So please uh, let me know what you think. And everything you need to know is down below in the description box, how to reach out for personal reading. Tons of stuff down there, so please do go check that out. The giveaway is still open as a thank you for reaching 10,000 subscribers. So if you would like to enter that um, giveaway, you can win a tarot deck along with a free 20 minute reading of your choice by me. Check the description box along with the pinned top comment on everything you need to know on how to enter. And if you do, good luck to you. And also um, Pisces, I do have two polls on my community tab of my channel. If you head on over there, Two polls I would like everyone to participate in on what kind of readings you would like to see per month and if you would be interested on uh, in extended readings on Vimeo. So thank you if you do go check that out. All right, Pisces. So let's get into your reading, your bonus reading here for Pisces Spirit. Please, what's going on in love for Pisces for this bonus reading? All of a sudden I'm feeling very jittery and nervous, so I don't know... Um, What's going on for you, Pisces? Nervous and jittery about something? I don't know. So let's see. Can we get one? Pull one from each deck, oracle deck, along with the bottom of the deck. And then we'll use the tarot on the end there to clarify each message. So one for Pisces. Okay, that one. <clears throat> we have here time. You're trying too hard. Give it time. So trying too hard something here. And then we have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So I feel like you're needing to give something time and just trust in the process and not try so hard. So however that means, I don't know, but tell me, look at the bottom here. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So you may or may not be... Um, together with a person it could be a new person or somebody you are separated from tell me to go now one more deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right so <sighs> you need to trust your heart do what feels right and trust in the process and something here just needs time so we're gonna when we pull the tarot we'll see what that is all about for you pisces so let's take a look at life here for you pisces I hope everybody's doing well. All right. These give me such a hard time, but I just think they're so cute. If you're interested in the decks I'm using, they are listed below with links uh, where to purchase them. Your uh, playlists are down below also. Social media. All right. Pisces. I guess that's our message. I don't know if you've seen that come flying up at me. So we have here... Queen of Spring, talented, brilliant, independent, charming, Persian cat. Don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. You may have several priorities vying for your attention at once, but you can do it. So this is the uh, Queen of Wands, and you are a water sign. This is fire, but this could be you just being in this energy, the Queen of Wands or the Queen of Spring here. Someone who's very fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy they're very talented they're very uh, artistic they're um have a lot of ideas <clears throat> they go after what they want a lot of driving ambition passion so let's see the go-getter kind of person here and on the bottom here we have three of autumn miniature poodle dog your most satisfying and profitable career comes from following your passions and queen of springs very passionate listening to your heart and doing what brings you joy. Your life purpose is best fulfilled by allowing your talents and true self to shine forth out into the world. So this is a three of pentacles energy. So this could be about learning uh, something new. 
Here, the Three of Autumn is about Three of Pentacles is like working with others. It's teamwork, collaboration kind of energy, compromising energy. So you may uh, be starting out in a new venture here, whether it's a project, a venture, uh, an endeavor, a new job, um, some sort of entrepreneurial kind of energy. It could be a little side job or something here, but you're learning every aspect of that with the Three of Pentacles. You're learning everything you need to know, you know, with teamwork, collaboration, working with others, and learning that craft. And this will, I think, uh, will really shine your talents here, whatever this is. Something you could be very fiery, passionate about. Again, could be just like a little side job, hobby, uh, entrepreneurship kind of thing. Um, just doing something like on the side. Or you could be starting a whole new job here and working hard at learning and mastering this new career move for some of you. So how about that resonates for you? All right, so you could also receiving cert, um, <clears throat> certificates or um, something like that of appreciation or, you know, stepping up or moving up and receiving, um, oh, what's the word I want to use, awards or whatever here or um, acknowledgement or whatever. All right, so... I see a lot of flowers there for growth and abundance also. Being very stable and grounded with the pentacle energy. So let's get some advice for you, Pisces. What is the advice for Pisces? Okay, I'm feeling that one. Definitely want to fly up. Dwelling in truth. I stand in the light of truth. So I feel like you're really uh, in your power. You're really having truth and clarity and a free mind. Flying free, I can furl my wings and fly. So whatever here, you're just laying, you're just being in a in the space of <coughs> higher knowing, truth and clarity. Flying free. So some of you could be flying solo. Could be just maybe just became independent. And now you're just feeling free and uh, calm and peaceful. Just, you know, having just a peace of mind, truth, clarity. Finally, from something here. All right. That's your advice is to fly free and just dwell from a place of truth. Spread your wings and fly. Whatever that means for you. All right. So let's clarify, Pisces, all this energy. Trust and time and love. What is that about for Pisces, please? Trust and time for in love for Pisces, please, spirit. Thank you so much. What is that about? That one. Ten of Wands. So releasing some kind of heavy burden here. Tens are about endings. So ending and releasing burdens of some sort. Taking the weight off your back, your shoulders. Very quickly. You're releasing something very quickly here. Ending something very quickly. The Knight of Swords energy. Yeah, and ending. <laughs> Another card of ending with death. So letting something just uh, end naturally, I feel, because we have the moon, that's your energy right behind here, Pisces. So very quickly, I feel like very quickly here, just ending something, but transforming and uh, having a new beginning of some kind. All right, so we got three here, so I need three more. So whatever you're ending here or moving on from, away from, or it's moving quickly, but it says you're trying too hard, give it time. So if you're trying to rush this too quickly, just trust the process. Again, trust the process. Let it come to an end naturally and go with the flow and, and just give it time. Just give it its due time and trust in the process is what I'm getting. Because that Knight of Swords is right in the middle there. It's a very fast-paced, rushed energy. Six of Cups. So it could have been with a soulmate here, definitely. Could have been soulmates at one time. At one time, Someone you've been with for a very, very long time. Uh, could have known them since childhood, high school, college. Um, things of that nature. You could have had past lives with this person. Tower, yeah. Something ending here abruptly. Disruption, change. Uh, crumbling down. Kind of energy. Aha, epiphany. Could be a, sometimes it could be a surprise. Sometimes it can be something good. 
But I feel like, especially with the death and the Ten of Wands and the Tower, yeah. Queen of Wands. So we got the Queen of Wands here and there. So, wow. So, yeah. Now you're feeling, like, fiery, passionate. Like, go-getter. It's like this energy of turning away from this kind of energy here. So, or you could have ended something with a fire sign. Male or female, doesn't matter. Because we have fire, fire. This is Aries, Scorpio. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Leo, Sagittarius. So you could have ended something with the fire sign or any one of those signs, but, or it's just you now just feeling in that energy of feeling very fiery, passionate, go-getter for life again, moving on with a lot of drive, ambition, and passion. But whatever is ending here, three cards, two cards of ending in a disruption or a change. So just trust, give it time, don't rush it, because you've got the energy of wanting to rush out or something here. From a soulmate so just give it time and let it end naturally i feel yeah <laughs> and as i say that your energy falls out here with the moon so this is um about life what's going on for you now so this could be something with work or you're just working on yourself here but again that fiery passionate energy this is telling me this is your energy because the moon is you and the queen of spring i feel like this is Spirit saying, yes, this is your energy that you are in right now. And, you know, moon can be, you know, a little, um, can't see the path clearly. Um, maybe a little fear, deep feelings and emotions. But soon, you know, the path comes to light with the dawning of the new day. So, <clears throat> listening to your intuition. All right, so what is this all about for Pisces? I really feel, because we got the Queen of Wands twice, I really feel like you're, like, having... A zest and passion for life again. Ace of Cups. So this could be <clears throat> working on a new love here. Or self-love. This could be self-love. Deep feelings and emotions for yourself. Healing. You know, new spiritual awakening. Spiritual connection. Uh, faith or religion. Being at total peace and harmony and happiness and joy. If self-fulfillment. So you could be working here on filling your, refilling your own cup, working on yourself, replenishing yourself, justice. So giving yourself justice, getting justice, serving justice, scales balancing out, truth, clarity could be something in the justice system. All right, so let's see what else here for Pisces. What is this about? feel like you're finally getting your justice in life, whatever that means for you. Yeah, independent energy here. And I just said that, working on yourself, nurturing yourself. Nine of Pentacles is a very single energy, independent energy, taking care of yourself, having everything you need on your own, being very stable and grounded and abundant in your own right, on your own two feet, having everything you need. I feel like this is self-love, self-care, self-growth and expansion giving yourself justice in life and working on yourself and having that zest and fire for life again. <clears throat> or some of you could be working on a new project, endeavor, job, career, hobby, side job, something here, or it could be all of it, all of the above. Getting the accolades you deserve there. Nine of cups. Nines to me are always a single energy. So nine here is, again, energy... The Nine of Cups, wishes and dreams coming true, self-fulfillment, happiness and joy. I feel like you're looking at a lot of options now, like you're in the single energy and you're looking at everything now from a single life point of view, independent point of view. You know, having many choices, options. Oh, I can go out with friends. I can go out with family. I can go out by myself. I can, you know, whatever here, like things maybe you couldn't do before. All right. So, and that is your energy with the cups. So one more judgment. Yeah, making final judgment call here. Forgiveness could be the life review, career review, forgiving things of the past. I don't, it can be resurrection sometime of soulmates, but I'm not feeling that, especially with these two independent energies. But we do have a brand new beginning here. So it's either self-love fulfillment or a spiritual path or a religious path or something, or it could be working on a new love. But you have two cards here of being single. So I feel like you <clears throat> maybe made that judgment call to forgive things of the past. 
and making that judgment call here. So we have Scorpio, Libra, and we have your energy here, Cancer or Pisces, Leo, Sag, Aries. So, all right, so let's see. <clears throat> Two of Cups energy over here for dwelling in truth and flying free. So Two of Cups to me is always like a soulmate union card, but it can also be <clears throat> aligning with you and your true self, your spiritual side, you know, your faith, your religion, everything aligning for you from within and having that union. It can also be, you know, just being in a very happy, content space with friends and family also. All right, so what is this Two of Cups with dwelling in truth and flying free? Because I see you flying free, independent here. I feel like from a Two of Cups situation you once had. Page of Wands is fiery passionate communication or good news coming in or out. So what is that about? What is that about? Queen of Swords. So this is, uh, this is always my divine energy card or an air sign. But the Queen of Swords is always about truth, clarity, using that sword to cut away things no longer serving you. I feel like you may have somebody come back and try to reconnect with fire, passion, and news of, hey, can we, you know, get back together? And it's like you're using this sword to say, uh, no, I don't think so. And cutting the cords here and dwelling, because the swords is all about truth and clarity, and we have dwelling in truth. So I see you cutting cords and flying free here from something here could have been a soulmate or if somebody new tries to come in you know maybe they're saying oh you know you know pretending like they want this two of cups with you when all they really want is the passion with the page because they're just coming through as a page it's a very um <clears throat> um youthful energy it's also a very immature energy and you're like seeing the truth of that using that sword like you're kind of on guard defensive here like no seeing the truth no, I don't think so. All right. It could be someone from the past or someone. Yeah, because you're just going to fly solo here and you're just going to uh, concentrate on you, your independence, your security, your stability. And I feel like you're blocking out everything here with the Five of Swords. You've got the sword up again. So I think you're blocking anything new coming into you. <coughs> I think like you see the truth of a situation, either with a past person or a new person that tries to come in, they're promising you, and they may be stingy with the four of coins, promising you one thing, but really meaning something else, but you see right through the BS, and it's like you're not going to have it with the five of swords energy. You're going to block it no matter what you have to do. You don't really care. <laughs> it's like, nope, block, 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 the five of swords. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just concentrating on me and my stability and I'm not really giving to anybody else with the four of coins I'm flying free on my own and I'm speaking my truth what else here one more for Pisces please spirit thank you so much okay I knew I could feel a flyer wanted to come empress exactly wow the empress knows her value her worth <clears throat> she's taking care of herself she's nurturing herself She's valuing herself and she gives birth to new things. So this could be, again, a new job, new career, new project, endeavor, hobby, uh, birth of a new life for yourself. And I feel like Emperor Empress doesn't matter. Taking control, lead, charge of your life and doing what's best for you as you fly free and you dwell in truth and rejecting anything coming towards you that you see right through the BS or is not suitable for you. You're just nurturing yourself right now. Well, Pisces, good for you. So let's see here the star. So yeah, you're healing. You're still healing. Um, but this is, you know, remaining, um, having faith, being optimistic. This is faith, hope, and optimistic energy, healing energy, divinely guided. In time, things will come to you, time here, that are divinely guided for you. In the meantime, you just heal. Wishes and dreams can come true and remain uh, hopeful and optimistic because you do have the sun here. So, you know, this is happiest, happiest card in the deck. So 
Just know in time here, your wishes and dreams will come true. You'll have total fulfillment, happiness, victory, healing, enlightenment. I mean, everything positive with the sun coming in for you in time and the stars. Stars and the sun. You know, whatever you were sad and lonely about here, whatever toxic energy there was, um, you're going to manifest a new beginning here and be celebrating over um, going to a better place of healing balance, leaving the BS behind as you manifest a new life for yourself. Be celebrating, probably with friends. You know, sad over toxic energy of the past, but you're healing from that. Two cards of healing. Faith, hope, optimism, which dreams coming true. Most positive card. Just know you will have the sun energy in the future. You may have your divine masculine come in, someone that is meant for you, who is your true soulmate to inflame in the future. But for now, you're concentrating on yourself and healing as you move forward. Wow. Wow, Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Well, wow. best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. As I always say with my channel, it's always shine your light.